Good morning, Keto fam. It is Tuesday. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's Tuesday, and it's like a the day four, which would be a regular keto day for me today. But not sure what I want to make. Probably a salad. I have some tomatoes left from my garden. And I don't know what else. Oh, the sun is really shining this morning. Hmm. Okay. Let's get this way in. All right, let's check the way in. I know there's a little reflection there, but can you guys see it? Good morning, guys. Feeling a little bit better this morning. Uh, I have a bit of a headache, but it's back here. And down a little bit this morning. I didn't take anything when I went to bed. Uh, I woke up a couple of times throughout the night, so I didn't get a, a you know a straight sleep through the night. But other than that, I slept uh, uh, slept till eight o'clock. <laughs> Went to bed well after, well, I felt myself drifting. I was watching something on the History Channel. I don't even know what it was. And I was drifting after 11. So I took my glasses off and I don't remember think anything after that. So <laughs> I don't know what time I actually fell asleep, but I did wake up. Uh, a couple of times to use the bathroom and to reposition myself uh, I had one person comment yesterday um, about getting back surgery and I'm sorry if I don't remember your name um, don't worry I know m my back surgery took longer to recover because about I want to say three weeks into it, I got a really bad infection in my back, real bad staph infection. And I had to go back under the knife and they had to go open me back up and clean out around the um, hardware that was on my spine. And I had to have a pick line for three months. So my recovery was longer than expected. Um, so there was a lot of factors that went into the reason why it took me so long to get back to normal. Now that may never happen to you and now my dog is at the door now she decides she wants to go out so hang on. Apparently she just wanted to look out the window. <laughs> I swear this dog is so weird. It's weird my hair is like blending into the color of my chair um i fully expect to get some comments because i'm on social media i mean you, you put yourself out there um and you should expect some comments and dislikes and which is, is okay because there's nothing wrong with, you know, people voicing their opinion. I, I'm not opposed to that at all. But there's one thing that I would really like to happen. And I get dislikes on videos that just makes me scratch my head like, really? Why? Why do you dislike this video? And you get you get your thumbs up and you get good comments and you get bad comments and um 
there's some of my videos that I get I get comments really nice positive good comments and thumbs up and that's that's the all the comments that I get are good positive comments but there'll be a dislike on that video and I just want to say I mean I'm thinking to myself why you dislike this video but you don't explain to me why you dislike this video so you 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 cut and run so you you come in and you you do your dislike and you bolt you never explain why you dislike it so people can if they need to improve on the video so you you come in and you just you you cut and run that's the only thing i can think of you just you come in you dislike and you bolt you don't say why you just and that's always been a problem for me because I'm I'm the type of person that if if I if I don't know where I need to improve how can I improve if you don't tell me why you disliked my video oh it's just a weird thing that I have going on in my own mind because if I'm if I'm disliking your video I'm going down in the comments and telling you why is it just me? I don't understand. There's not that many videos that I dislike. Well, there are videos that I dislike, but I don't put a dislike and I don't put a negative comment. I move on. <laughs> I don't so today is a regular keto day for me. Uh, I will likely eat a salad later on with my Southwest dressing that somebody so kindly pointed out to me it's not keto but you know and I will probably I don't know what I'm gonna eat later on I still have some wings left maybe I'll eat some wings I don't know yet we'll see but anyway guys gonna drink my coffee it's just now going on nine Oof, already and I don't know when I'll break my fast I may try to do I may try to do like a rate like a sweet waffle today like maybe I'll try that I don't I don't know that that's bothering me the chaffles I don't know. Maybe I'll do tacos. Oh, I have hamburger in there. Maybe I'll do tacos. We'll see. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I will see you later on. So, it is quarter to 12, you guys. And I have decided to do my Southwest uh, steak, steak Southwest salad. I have weighed everything out. Everything is on this plate right here, and I have written down all the weights for everything. I have two and a half ounces of the steak, two and a half ounces of the peppers and onions combined that I cooked off. I have one and a half ounces of cheddar cheese, one and a half ounces of black olives, and three and a half ounces of the lettuce and two and a half ounces of the homemade pico. Now, I've decided to do this because the lettuce is starting to go bad and I'm not about <laughs> throwing stuff away. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this uh, salad together. Uh, I haven't decided whether or not I wanna do tacos later because that's all the lettuce I have and it's starting to go bad. And if I'm gonna eat tacos, I want lettuce on my tacos. So I got a big Ziploc bag right here. Oh, and I got a quarter cup of, yes, my uh, Dirty Keto Ranch, Southwest Ranch. And I have one Sabra guacamole. And I'm going to do two tablespoons of the uh, Daisy Sour Cream on the top. So I'm going to put my quarter cup of my dressing in there. Get it all out. And this is how I always do my salads because you can never really mix it good together. So I always put it in a bag. Make sure there's plenty of air in there. Let me step back so I can 
shake it up. All good and incorporated in there. And then I'm going to, and of course, some of this is going to stick in the bag. So some of my measurements are going to be a little off, which is okay. But, and there is the salad right there. I love this salad. Let me open up the Sabra here. There we go. Scrape that out. I'll plug all of this into my uh, carb manager when I'm done. And mm, Sabra makes some good guacamole, you guys. Mm. Oh, my air conditioner just kicked on. Did you guys hear? It's right on the other side of this wall right here. Two tablespoons of the sour cream. There's one. Get up there. And two. Get that all out because sour cream is life. And... There's my salad for the day. I will likely do wings later. They're plain wings. I may go ahead and sprinkle some of the uh, Texas peat on them and throw them in the air fryer real quick just to crisp them up. But I will have to go to the grocery store because I'm running low on meat. So I'm going to have to probably go to the grocery store later today maybe tomorrow I'm not sure because I think tomorrow I want to try like a sweeter version of the chaffle I'll bring that to you and that's gonna do it for my break fast <laughs> right now it's 1145 uh, so yeah noonish round 3 330 I'll go ahead and heat up some wings and eat those and that will be the last of my meal for my keto day so there you have it, guys, and I'll see you in the morning. If I don't see you again today, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share if you guys want to share this. And if you're not, like, freaking out that I'm doing, like, a dirty keto or dirty carnivore, uh, again, I don't do this for weight loss. I do this for cancer, and I am coming up on four years cancer-free, so I'm doing something right. So... Like, share, subscribe, uh, comment below if you guys want to comment good bad otherwise doesn't matter to me and i will see you guys in the morning bye